It's time to place the front panels, the heat collecting side, into our frame. The width of these panels has been cut one half of an inch wider than our first three panels. Remember that, don't cut them the same. Cut them a little wider because they're going to lock underneath our steel stud frame that much better. You may want to unscrew your steel stud frame at this point to give yourself a little more ease in getting these in. Just try not to disturb your caulked foam perimeters and disrupt anything you've done there. And it might help to have a friend guide these pieces together as you're going around. Get your steel stud frame corners held perfectly and re-screw them. If you need ratchet straps to help you pull everything together, that definitely helped me. Go ahead and caulk all the way around the perimeter. Depending on which way you oriented your steel, it doesn't matter. You're still going to want to caulk all the way around. Make sure you completely seal this entire perimeter. Paint the entire front panel surface with your high temp engine or barbecue flat black paint. You can try to avoid painting your steel stud frame because we are going to be putting a rubber gasket self stick onto that and it might stick better without having it being painted. You go ahead do two coats and make sure you've sufficiently covered with an even coat. You need to cut two pieces, one for the back of the unit and one for the front of the unit at 3 foot 11 and 7 eighths. Do not cut two pieces for the top at the same length because the top of the unit has to have extra long lengths so that they can be bent around forming a water shedding cap. Cut the pieces carefully. These are our finished exterior pieces after all. You will need to remove the screws from the corner of the steel stud frame because we are going to be using these same holes. You don't want to over tighten these, so go ahead and remove those now. Here I am cutting line A, which I have eyeballed with the inner edge of my bottom flashing piece. I just cut right up to the bend. From the end, I cut off either a quarter inch or a half inch just to get rid of that little extra bent lip. And I bend this part down. Butt up your side piece to the inner edge of your bottom flashing. And here you can see that line A, which you just cut, could be angled back slightly so that when it contacts your bottom flashing piece, it won't scratch it. But before you apply your rubber gasket to the polycarbonate, pre-screw all your flashing front pieces just at their front four corners, then remove these flashing pieces, and then apply your rubber gasket. You're gonna be able to screw in your flashing over the rubber gasket much more easily. Instead of bending around with our hand, we're gonna use our hand seamers here. We'll hold our hand seamers in place approximately 1 8 inch out from the edge of the unit. Screw one screw from the side on your top cap piece. Now I'm going to suggest you keep this front protective film on as long as it takes to get it installed so you don't scratch it up, but I couldn't resist. Look how great it looks. Where the long side front overlaps the long side back, apply one or two screws at the overlap. You might want a friend to help you out. Push down with pressure as to make sure the overlapping part is even along the length and apply a screw. I'm going to bend this down and cheat it down a little bit to squeeze this gasket a little bit. Better. Much, much better. The side gaskets, they feel pretty good. And water's not going to be really wanting to go in there anyway. Okay, we're passing 180. Getting close to 190 degrees. Hey, I think we are close to, I'm going to say, let's see, 90, 200, 240, 250, probably 260 degrees. 
and it's still climbing and if you look out here I don't know if you can see you can see the, the heat waves but it is just cooking coming out of here it's hotter than what this thermometer can probably go to so I need to get a digital thermometer way over what uh, your regular furnace kicks out at 140 this thing is still climbing alright I just doused it with water to see if it would have any effect really little to no effect it's still just raging and there's a cloud in front of us too and it's still holding at probably it's a 180, 200, two, probably 240 and it's just hot 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 you can't touch the metal on the inside of this thing it's it's super hot